The overall goal of this experiment is to study the diseases caused by epithelial barrier dysfunction by measuring the intestinal epithelial cell permeability in vitro and in vivo. This method can help answer key questions in the intestinal barrier function field, such as those related to the inflammatory bowel disease. The main advantage of this technique is that intestinal epithelial cell permeability can be assessed both in vitro and in vivo. The implications of this technique extend towards therapy or diagnosis of gastrointestinal diseases because intestinal epithelial barrier dysfunction contributes to those diseases. Though this method can provide insight into the intestinal barrier function, it can also be applied to other systems, such as drug toxicity studies and the barrier integrity of other cell types. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as some steps are difficult to learn. An accurate operation of this method cannot be understood by textual description. To begin, grow KCO2 BBE cells in a T75 flask with medium. Feed the flasks regularly, depending on the cell density. When the cells are 80% confluent, remove the medium and use 1 to 2 milliliters of sterile PBS without calcium to rinse them. Add 1.5 milliliters of trypsin EDTA and gently rock the flask. Then, place it in the 37 degrees Celsius incubator for 20 minutes without rocking. While the cells are trypsin.